Tonight, paying tribute to the life of Ben Credit. He was a public figure who advocated for disability rights at universities. On Monday, police say an impaired driver hit and killed him. 10 News reporter Krista Lucas shares how the community is honoring Ben's life. More than 1,000 people attended Ben Credit's service on the UT campus to honor his life. All the family is talking, and this is a celebration of life. This is not a funeral service whatsoever. Countless stories about Ben. They're all going to be happy memories, nothing sad, and that's what they're sticking to. On Monday, the 21st, KPD said the driver overdosed right before he veered off Kingston Pike and struck Ben. I was shocked. My stomach like just dropped, and it was horrific. Ben was a beautiful soul, and we just wanted to be here to support the family. Ben left a lot of happy memories behind. So he would always ask me to say, oh, in a very specific pitch. And if I did not do it in a specific pitch, I would always get told I had to do it again until I was corrected. His service carried a huge message. Make that effort to reach out to people, um, maybe especially when you know someone has challenges interacting and connecting with people. Ben did that, and that's the way he will be remembered. In Knoxville, Chris Lucas. The service was live streamed, and even more people were able to be part of it. The driver, Shannon Walker, who killed Credit, faces vehicular homicide and DUI, among other charges.